I'm James. And I am Emily. We show you our actual weight loss journey with the keto lifestyle. And our goal is to help you and ourselves lose weight and keep it off. Don't forget to like and subscribe and get ready. Set keto. Let's keep moving around a lot. Go ahead. <laughs> Alright, so it's Wednesday. And the first, we're going to show you, we had a Saturday grocery haul. Mm -hmm. We had... I thought that was Sunday. Saturday. We didn't film Sunday. Oh, we did not mm -hmm. film Sunday. Monday, and then Tuesday... Workout uh, day. We worked out on the Bowflex, and we filmed a little bit of our workout, so that's in there. Yep. And then we'll be back for what we did today for dinner. Yep. Do we really even show that? No, but we're going to tell them. Okay. Okay, it's Saturday, and we had to pick up eggs, and went ahead and picked up a couple things. Show you what we found. It's completely, completely disheartened at the grocery store. The prices just keep continuously going up, and I don't like it. So, go ahead. All Which, right. Where are the eggs? All right, so the, the five dozen eggs at Kroger were $8.79, mm -hmm. and they were $7 last week. Now, at Walmart, the eggs that were $7.69 last week were $12.69 today, so they went up $5. Yeah. About 40%. One is you to share that because you knew the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, things are... Either we're catching up to all the other areas that's already been expensive, or right. things are just starting to get a little out of hand. We did see there that the uh, challenge was a challenge brand butter pound of butter was four dollars, which I think and we instead, usually pay a dollar fifty two dollars for. Yeah, usually we could usually get butter on sale between dollar ninety nine and two forty nine. Dogs drinking. <laughs> But what was freaky about it is, is that even the, all, all the off-brand butters said regular price five ninety nine, and yes. they were on sale for four. So, yeah, mm. had to stop her from drinking. It's loud. <laughs> all right, picked up a uh, pound of cheddar at Walmart. That was two eighty nine. Mm -hmm. I got this just because I want it. One of it was $9.99 for what, 24 ounces? Mm hmm. Yeah. It is salami, pepperoni, and frivolin cheese from the deli. Just to make little sandwiches with salami and cheese in the middle, or pepperoni and cheese in the middle. So, uh, oh. bought, bought more sirloin steaks for $3.99 a pound. I'll keep buying stuff at that price. Yep. Ground beef was still $2.47 a pound, so I got. Two more things. Two Not more trying three pounds. To, yeah, we don't have a whole lot of room in our freezer to, yeah. to just to keep buying. Yep. This bacon is one of my favorites at Walmart. It's the hickory smoked. Anyway, you you can still get that right now at our Walmart. It's still four twenty nine a pound. I'm sure that'll be eight dollars tomorrow. Yep. <laughs> Got five pounds of the deluxe cheese singles. I know these aren't the cleanest. But we like them on our burgers and basically like one piece at a time. What was crazy is that you can get three pounds for $9.99. But this was actually five pounds of the exact same thing. It was $8.69. So take it. One carb and a slice. Yep. Some too good yogurt. You haven't had these? There's four of them here. Very good. I think it was $3.99 for a pack of four. Yep, we, so. got, we got four good yogurts. Four good yogurts. And we also bought sour cream. The reason I bought sour cream, I found a recipe for drop biscuits, keto drop biscuits using almond flour, egg, sour cream, and salt. And that is it. So I needed sour cream to make those. And the reason I wanted those is because I got some sugar-free apple butter, four carbs and a serving, which is two tablespoons. Thought that would be pretty good. Good ingredients but, too, just apple spice. Yes. This is from Nothing. A, yeah, a local farm near us so so all right so emily hadn't been to the grocery like she really don't go to the grocery she much. usually doesn't we usually just go to walmart and just look around which walmart really doesn't really have sale prices that much right i uh i usually do all the grocery shopping and the reason we don't notice 
so much of how crazy everything is in the grocery world is is because we have a deep freeze which means that we only buy what's on sale we only buy what's on sale and if you venture off and don't buy something that's on sale you're really gonna pay hard for it yeah not didn't do so bad for the yogurt though i mean that's their price right now anyway in the bacon and no matter what like right now you can't even say well i'll do keto even if i have to eat hot dogs because <laughs> like con's hot dogs right now at kroger today were 4.79 a pack yeah it's so insane. but when them go on sale this summer even if it's like two for four or something like that we will stock up and put them in the freezer yeah buy 20 of them that's just what seems to be how you got to do it you know because that stuff goes on sale in the summertime and it doesn't you know after labor day that's the end you don't see sale on hot dogs at all or anything like that right. anymore i mean them damn things are almost as expensive as nathan's hot dogs now so you might as well get nathan's hot dogs to be honest with you pay the extra buck hebrew national yep. <laughs> get hebrew national or nathan's so we're gonna wrap this up we're getting ready to take noah to the movies yeah we're gonna go see a movie we're gonna go see uh bad guys the bad guys which is an animated show that he liked the books and this will be our first time going to a movie theater since COVID started in March of 2020. Yeah. <laughs> so it's been over two years since we've been in a movie theater. And that's what we're doing tonight. So you guys have a great night. And we'll see you tomorrow. Yes. It's Monday. I said it. She didn't. I wasn't even going to try. And you know what? Yesterday was Sunday. And we did not record at all. That was not a thing. We had company over. Um... I actually made like nine pounds of burger patties mm -hmm. out of the hamburger that we got from Kroger so it wouldn't go bad. So I pressed them out into quarter pound patties and then we put parchment paper in between each one. Yes. And bundled them up three pounds at a time, 12 patties each one. So hopefully that they'll taste better than the frozen patties that we buy, even though we're still freezing them. <laughs> I hope so. I don't really yeah. care for the, that. The texture of the frozen patties kind of sucks. Yeah. Honestly, um, for lunch today, I had three of the sucky patties. Yeah, I, I, with, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and with about a piece and a half of cheese with mustard, like I always do. Mm -hmm. And then when I came home, I did have a can of Vienna sausages that I shared with the dogs. Hmm. I was hungry. There you go. So, I normally eat twice a day. I usually don't eat until around 11.30 or noon every day. Uh, but today, on my way into the parking lot at work, um, another person was leaving and picking up Chick-fil-A for breakfast for everybody in the office there. So, he picked me up um, grilled chicken, no biscuit, just the grilled chicken. So, I did have that for breakfast. And then for lunch, uh, my boss also bought lunch again and um, was had me order pizza. So when I saw on the menu, they changed it at this local pizza place called La Rosa's, if you've heard of it. That's a Cincinnati thing. It is. And they now offer pizza bowls for people who are doing keto or low carb. So... I did get a pizza bowl and I got their white sauce just because red sauce, there's always so much sugar in it. And then I had sausage, pepperoni, mushroom, green olives, not green olives, black olives and green bell pepper. And it was really good. All right. I got something I want to show you. So I'm taking the camera. Okay. Taking it hostage. First off, these are our sirloins that we are having tonight. Me okay. and Emily and Noah. Mm-hmm. And then look, Austin has a giant porterhouse. T-bone. T-bone. I call it a porterhouse. But anyway, it looks like Ohio. It does look like Ohio. And then another thing I'm doing is I'm making ghee out of butter. And instead of using strainers and a strainer and all that. He uses a coffee filter. A coffee filter a... in a funnel. It will filter out what I didn't get of the milk fat. Yeah. So. So we're actually doing things in reverse a little bit because 
normally you would work out before you eat, but due to the fact that Emily and Noah had doctor appointments, high doctor to get glasses, we are going to eat and then work out. Why don't we just do the workout tomorrow? We were talking we about doing three days a week. We could. We could I, do I, you know, Tuesday, I, Thursday. I originally said Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Yes. But then we, did, I did Thursday, Saturday, and I don't know. I guess I was just kind of in the mood to do it today. To let's just do it tomorrow. I guess I just don't want to have to take two days off because I like the way it makes me feel and everything. I would rather do it before eating, honestly. I get it. Tomorrow. We're going to do it tomorrow. And I'll video him like we promised. I guess I'm getting videoed tomorrow. <laughs> you know, it's not a bad thing, though. I really wanted to work out, and I kind of look forward to working out. Good. So, I do like the way it makes me feel. It makes me feel all manly. Saturday, I pinched my finger on the Bowflex, and it bled and bled. It was on one of the clips to change the handle. It was on the carabiner clip. It hurt. It still hurts. What else? Did we say what, what we had for food yesterday? Yesterday? I said I, I, said I cooked. So I had, I, I, yesterday I didn't eat a whole lot, really. Yeah, we, we well, you up. got up and you were running and I left and I was running. And when I got home, Austin wanted to go do some running. So I went and did some running with him. And then I came home and I made three scrambled eggs and I had two burgers that he had made while me and Austin were out. I did have egg and tuna salad. So, I mean... Was that egg and tuna salad? Yeah, I did make um, egg slash tuna salad last night to and bring with me for lunch today. In an egg life wrap. I and, shared one with Noah. Yeah, so they did have that. So, yesterday it was kind of... I had two quarter pound cheeseburgers. And did I make bacon yesterday morning? You did, because I did snack on bacon in between some of my running. So, yeah, I had I had probably... Maybe a quarter of the pound of bacon, maybe mm -hmm. a third of the pound. I didn't have very much, but the, while I was out, I actually bought some of the Duke's um, smoked sausage things. What are they called? Is it smoked sausage? I think we'll call them smoked sausage things. Yeah. Duke's brand, they're really good. And so. we, we have been binge watching The Last Kingdom now for about a week and a half, and we love that show. Mm -hmm. It's on Netflix, so if you like swords and Viking stuff... You know, that always gets me pumped up. Maybe that's why I'm ready to work out. Maybe. I'm ready to... I'm ready to have steak while it's hot. I don't want to go work out. Fine. <laughs> I guess we got to eat. We'll work out tomorrow. All right. It's That is Monday. Mm -hmm. You guys have a great day. Oh, wait a minute. Can I say one more thing? Can I say one more thing? I guess. We got... Oh, we got mail today. We did. So, we got another thing of mango, the Redmond Relight Mayo. Mayo. Yeah, we got the Mayo Relight. Yeah. The, <laughs> the mango. And then we got a strawberry lemonade. Now, just so you know, if you go online and you use a code, 2 Crazy Ketos has a code. There's other codes that you can get other places. These equal out, they're normally $40, $39.99. It they're like, sounds expensive. It sounds expensive. But. They're $34. But you have to figure the the quality in this mix and the electrolytes that you get with these, it evens, it equals out to like, I don't know, 55 or 60 cents per drink. And, that, and I make 20-ounce drinks with mine. I make 20-ounce drinks also with mine. So them are actually... You're not gonna go anywhere. You can't. You can't even get a fountain pop for that. You know, you can you can get two big drinks for the price of one fountain pop. Mm -hmm. And I feel so much better. My cramping stops now. I drink pretty much two of these a day now. They're and, good. We like them. And I know it's expensive. It seems expensive up front to say, "Oh, I'm gonna guy." But they know, last a while. I'm gonna I mean, spend seventy dollars on two of them. But it's worth it because... Are they 70 after the discount code? Mm-hmm. Okay. But that's 120 drinks. So, you know, it's better. And I ordered the biggest container of the garlic salt that I could get. This is a, I believe, a 10 ounce. I'm sorry. This is an eight and a quarter ounce of the garlic salt. We had like a four ounce one before. Mm-hmm. And we still have it, but I just didn't want to run out. I was actually looking for the big tub 
And the only one of the big tubs that we have so far is, is we got the season salt, the Redmond season salt, which is That's absolutely yeah. delicious. I could eat it all. It's very, 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 very good on eggs. Just so you know. If you get the onion salt or the garlic salt or the seasoned salt and you compare it some of the crap that you can buy for a dollar or two at Walmart, it's no comparison. The other stuff tastes just like trash. I mean, this stuff is so good. If you've never tried Redmond's, we are not affiliated at all with anybody. Just recommendation based on our personal, how daggone good it is. <laughs> so that's it. Thank it you guys. It is really good. Yep. That's Monday. See you tomorrow. What are you doing? Making dinner. How are you making? Stuffed peppers. Cheese steak, stuffed peppers. So bell peppers just stuffed with some steak, mushrooms, and onions. What's that on your head? My bun. Do you love it? I'm not a bun guy. <laughs> but if it makes you feel better, I guess. Well, today's workout day. Right? Right. So, messy hair don't care. Right? Right. So I'm putting a slice of provolone cheese on these. I'm going to put them in the oven. And that way we can work out while they're in the oven. How long do they take? I don't know. We're going to just guess however long it takes us to work out, hopefully. That could be an hour. Oh, it could be eight. We'll have to check it in half. All right, here's the leftover mushrooms, and onions, onions. And, and sirloin steak. And then I made 12 quarter pound burgers for lunches. Because when I make stuff, it just finds a way to disappear. So Austin eats it, Noah eats it, I eat it, Emily eats it. It just, it goes fast. Mm -hmm. So we're about to get our workout on. We'll be back, show you dinner. All right, I'm gonna show you my workout on the Bowflex. All right, so I'm starting out with abs, and I got 70 pounds on there, which I should probably do more, but I got 70. So I hold the handles up here to my chest, and I just lean forward, and I do that like 30 times. Do it. One, two, three. All right. <laughs> Let's go. All right, we all three did our abs. Yep. And now it's time for bench press. So with the Bowflex, it makes it pretty easy. If you want to bench press, I'm gonna slide that out one notch on each side for Emily. And, and myself, it slides out on each side. Mm -hmm. And Emily can start. Like this. <laughs> this is a little bit heavier than we did Saturday. Hey, come here. All right, while she's doing that, we did three sets of 30 on the ab crunches, each of us. And now we will do three sets That's of, ten. yeah, Emily's going to do three sets of 10. We'll all do three sets. We'll, obviously, we'll change the weights proportionate for each person. But three sets of the bench press, three sets of the abs at 30 reps each one. So that's what we're doing. All right, we're done with the bench, done our abs, and now it's time for triceps. So the Bowflex has cables here that connect that we were using with our handles right here but it has the pulley system up top and basically how i'm doing triceps is grab it and i don't bend my shoulder just my elbow down Whoa. that's working right there so now we're doing lat pull downs um it works out your back, and uh, we're going to do uh, two sets of ten. So, grab these. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> 
All right, Emily's gonna do rows, which this is an awkward, like a modified row, but she's gonna lean back and she's gonna pull it to her chest, which will, as Noah shoots an airsoft gun outside. <laughs> but that will work more lower in your back. That's that, we'll do two sets of 10 on this. Alright, so we hooked up our cables to the book to the on the bottom cable and I'm gonna do bicep curls. I do three different sets. So. Three sets of ten? Yeah. My head getting red? A little bit. All right, Emmy's turn. All right, the last thing I'm gonna do because I'm tired and I'm hungry, I'm gonna do butterflies. So butterflies, you extend these all the way out and keep in this form, push them together. Holy smokes. Oh. Too heavy? Is it too heavy? Shut up. <laughs> Come on, tough guy. I can't do as much as I bench press. All right, try again. Try again. <clears throat> Better? Yes. <laughs> I'm tired. It's dinner time. We'll see you in a second. All right, this is why my eating window don't work. So I ate at 1030. I had full intentions of coming home and eating at normal time. Emily needed to stop by the grocery so we could get the peppers. To make. Right, let me cover our faces so you can see our food. Did you cut it in half so they can see it? I did cut it in half. And I don't know if they can or not, but. Okay, so there's cheese steak stuffed peppers. It's basically a Philly cheese steak stuffed in a, in a. Bell pepper. In a bell pepper half, so. Right. With provolone cheese melted on the top. Mm-hmm. So steak, onions, mushrooms inside. That's what we we use petite sirloin steaks. I'm out of my I'm out of my window because of working out, doing yard work, meal prepping, homework, homework with Noah. We got one struggling with math, so I bet you can't guess which one it is. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's Tuesday night, and yeah. we will see you later. All right, so that was our workout. That was our grocery haul, and tonight. Well, first off, I'll start. Today for lunch, three quarter pound cheeseburgers with mustard. No cheese? Or did you say cheeseburgers? I said cheese. Cheeseburgers. Okay. I had leftover steak with onions and mushrooms, and it was so good. Yeah, that was really I couldn't good. even finish it. I packed too much. That was really good yesterday. <laughs> it was still good today. And... Tonight, I have not ate yet, which is a problem because it's 7.30 and my window's over. I tried to rush them, but you I've, would not. Yeah, I've been tinkering a little. Yeah. I have somebody, I'm off, actually off work tomorrow because I have somebody coming to install our new sliding glass door. Yes. So, I'll be off tomorrow. I was kind of hoping that he could have came at like, give me a like two to four window or something like that. But mm -hmm. instead it was 9.30 to 10.30. There's no way I can go to work and work around. No. So. Off tomorrow. Anyway, I'm going to have some Tyson Black and Chicken, the only bag I have because we've had it for a while, and I can't find it, and I'm not paying $10 for one when, point. Yeah, when we do find it, it's. Yeah, 1.6. 1. 1.6. 1. It's not 1.6 pounds. It's one pound, six ounces of chicken, and they're wanting $10. I want I will. That's not worth that to me. So I made um, 
a Cincinnati style chili and spaghetti for dinner, which we'll show you a picture of that because we did not film that. Super simple. Again, he's been tinkering. I wanted some chili and spaghetti. And we're I, from Cincinnati. Yeah. It is chili spaghetti area. But he doesn't care too much for the shirataki noodle noodles that I buy. Because they're like eating rubber bands. No, they're not. In his opinion, they're a little bit rubbery. All right, so before keto, I never really liked pasta. <laughs> so giving up pasta, I could give two craps about. Yeah. I don't like it. It was just cheap and filling. Yeah. So that's what I made. Me and Noah had that for dinner. It's very good. So we'll just show a picture of it. So yes, I'm having the blackened chicken strips that I will put a little, I will dip in sugar-free barbecue sauce. So like five minute meals for, for us. It's about how long it took to, to make that. It's been nice out today. Kind of. It's still kind of chilly. And you're not going to see this, but Amazon just dropped off a new pair of pants and that puts me in a size 34. I have not opened them yet. <laughs> to see if they fit. <laughs> so the good news is, is that I'm getting smaller clothes. The bad news is, is that I hardly have any of them. <laughs> it's a good struggle, right? Right. What do you want to talk about? All right, so you probably noticed that the thumbnails are now, the last two, this one and the one before, are now with a black background instead of our orange that we love so much just curious what your thoughts are on that do you like the orange background do you like the black i was just curious just tinkering is what you just been tinkering doing. just wanted a little bit of a change change it up might do black for a little while and then go back to orange but orange is definitely our color as you can see by the curtains i love orange and if you've seen our front door you'd see that it's the same orange and our shutters it's always fall here yes <laughs> so how do you feel today after working out yesterday this was day I, two working yeah, out yeah, i think i need to push for you harder. i think i need to push a little harder because i am really not sore at all no no so Are you? this is act. this is actually it was day three for you yes it was day two for me so he waited for me to help me yesterday. I don't, I don't think he liked it very much. That's because it puts me eating after 8 o'clock. But if you would stop tinkering and get to it when I get home. I'm sorry. It would help. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I upped my weights yesterday in comparison to Saturday. I cannot talk today. I upped. In comparison to Saturday. I upped a couple. Small, Not a small, lot. Small increments. But um, I have been sore through here mm -hmm. in both my arms today, um, my thighs from squats have been very sore. But so we got the Bowflex. those are the two main parts right there. We got the Bowflex. It's called the Exceed X C E E D, mm -hmm. and you can actually buy this for like six fifty to seven hundred dollars on at Dick's. Dick Sporting Goods. Dick Sporting Goods. Or you could do what we did and go on Facebook Marketplace and find several people selling them for around the 250 300 range. Mm -hmm. And I am perfectly fine driving a used Bowflex. You drive it? Yes. <laughs> I do drive it. Uh, but I felt really, really good yesterday after. Like, after we were done working out, oh, I you, felt really good. You know what's funny is normally I sit around cold. I'm always cold, mm -hmm. but after I work out, I could wear shorts and sit there, sit around and be just fine because I'm not cold. She what I have, flowing. what I have been having is every night when I work out, I wake up with a demonic cramp. And when I say demonic, I woke up at 5 a.m. this morning <laughs> with a cramp that was, it was in my calf, it was in my ankle. It was in my foot, and it was in my big toe. It was <laughs> everywhere. And it was one of the nights that I actually came down, hobbled down the stairs, like, oh, my God, I don't know how I'm doing it. Came down. I took a multivitamin, ate some of the, the, the no salt the, <laughs> for the potassium, and took a magnesium pill. And Did it help? Instant. That is so funny. I wish I would have seen you get up. It went away instantly. But I need to drink... 
I have to drink another Redmond's before bed. Did you not drink two yesterday? I, I did not have I did not have an afternoon Redmond's relight. And the relights make a big difference. Why don't you try something different? This is what I do. I put keto chow electrolyte drops in my coffee in the morning. Mm -hmm. And then I have my red I have my Redmond's relight right here. I'm still mm -hmm. drinking it. And I'll just have the one and have the electrolyte drops. Yeah, if there was a hidden camera up at 5 a.m. this morning, you'd have seen me dumping no salt on my hand and licking it. That is so funny. And you know, I know that it's not its not a sodium deficiency. It's either a potassium or a magnesium. Mm -hmm. I've, I've heard that when you're working out and you're doing stuff, mm -hmm. if you have cramps, that is potassium. Mm -hmm. If you are in bed... Mm -hmm. And you wake up with a cramp in the mm -hmm. middle of the night while you're resting, that is mostly magnesium. So, if that helps anyone. If you're resting and you get a cramp, magnesium. If you're working and you get a cramp, it is potassium. Or, it could be sodium for both. But, anyone who knows me and watches me eat, there's no possible way that it's sodium. No. Because I use more salt than... Probably You've been any, doing so well at taking should. your supplements to keep from having cramps. I know. You slacked off. I know. I and actually, that's what you get. No, I think that that's what's happening when I'm working out. I think I might be using it more. So you need to just up it, is what you're saying? Yes. Okay. Then up it. I'm going to up it. Tomorrow, workout it, day. It's officially upped. Yeah. Tomorrow is workout day. <laughs> and you might see I'm part of that. I'm hoping my arms aren't sore. But Tomorrow. if they are, that means it's working. I know, but I, I feel like it's going to make me feel weak. So, yeah. Got mm -hmm. a guy installing a new door. I might show some of that. Yeah. Other than that, this is Wednesday. I'm starving, and i got to get the video up. So you guys have a great night, and thank you so much for watching. He always wants me to say bye. And say I bye. Yeah. Bye, guys.